Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're at the North American International Auto Show. It's a lot of things in AIAS in Detroit, Michigan. It used to be the biggest auto show in the world, probably still is, but there's a lot of action at CES this year on automotive. Oh, yeah. So, but the hottest thing going that are running all around the floor are this thing called the Irby. So we wanted to come check it out, get the story. So I'm really happy to have Grant Delgatti, the Chief Creative Officer from Irby the company. Yeah, Welcome. thank you, thank you for having me, that's fun. Absolutely, so this is the hottest thing going on. They're running around all over the place, so give us a little background for people that aren't familiar with what a Irby sure, is. Sure, yeah, so the, the Irby was originally created to basically fulfill that last mile scenario. So it's, it's, a, it's a foldable electric compact vehicle that someone can take onto a train or a bus, throw it in the trunk of your car, drive into like outskirts of the city, not have to pay the high park parking prices or the congestion of not finding parking, pull this thing out and away you go. And you got, you know, anywhere from a 16 to a 20 mile range, depending on what 16 to 20 miles. Yeah. So that's that's legit. That'll get, that's uh, gonna get you a ways. Get you a ways. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Okay, and so how much does it weigh, uh, begs the question. Okay, so we uh, we launched our first product about a year and a half ago, which was the original Irby. Okay. And that, that had the 20 mile range in it and, uh, the, the weight of it was a little on the heavy side, it was 35 pounds. It was still light enough to carry. Okay. But we had a lot of customer feedback that said, you know, can you come up with something even lighter than that? The other issue was, was that we had, uh, our original price point was $1,500. Okay. Which was a little bit of a barrier to market. And so what we wanted to do is create a new product for this year that not only uh, addressed that weight and the compactability, but also addressed the price point. So we've come out this year, we, about four days ago, we launched this new product, which we call the Irby Sport. And the Irby Sport is exactly that. It's about five pounds lighter, it's uh, more compact, and it comes in at 899. 899, so yeah. less than less than a boosted board, which is like the yeah. very popular exactly. kind of last mile alternative. Yeah. And not only that, is it's all made with American-made aircraft grade aluminum made in America in Pasadena, California. So, um, so when did you guys start the company? How long have you been around? Well, we started, I mean, we started the company about two and a half, three years ago. And then about a year and a half ago, we were funded as a, as a, as a startup. And we kind of restructured the company at that time. Uh, and uh, we brought in uh, some new partners. And, and, and that was really kind of when we, we started uh, going full-fledged. That's great. Yeah. So I'm just curious, some of the stories that you must hear from people. Yeah. Um, that use these, you know, how has it changed their world? What's kind of the most popular use cases is it? I mean, it looks like a lot of fun, obviously, there's people scooting around all over the place, but what are some of the things you hear from your actual customers out there? You know, it's, it's, it's an amazing feeling for me as the inventor of this product, it's, I get, I get all these different stories, all these different people that are talking about how it changes their lives, you know, how, they, how they've, you know, been dealing with traffic and traffic jams and how long it takes them to get into the city and, now they just, they just simply drive to the station near their house, they take this with them, they jump on the train, they're there within you know, 15, 20 minutes or whatever, you know, however long it takes, they're able to kind of sit on the train and do their work and their email and the whole thing. And then when they get there, they have a way to get around. And, and in fact, a lot of people are saying that it's actually opened up their, their direct community around where they work because now, and we, we like to coin this, this term, the micro mile. So essentially now imagine if, if you had a restaurant that was, you knew was really good and it was maybe five blocks away and you only had an hour to go for lunch and it would take maybe 20 minutes to walk right, there. Right, right. You don't want to get in your car and leave the parking lot and risk not finding a spot when you get back or have to pay again or that kind of a thing. Now you just jump on this thing, you'd be there in, in three, five minutes and you have a great lunch and, and away you go. And then how does it work for like street legal and, and you know lights and reflectors and all that stuff? Is this considered like a bicycle? So yeah, so we actually are qualified as a type two electric bicycle. It's essentially a, uh, a bicycle that doesn't have pedals. Okay. Electric bicycle. And um, so yeah, you're, you're, we find that in most jurisdictions you're allowed to take this wherever a bicycle's allowed. Okay. You should check with your local you know laws and, and, and that because some places are a little uh, you know, picky with it, but most of the time it, it's allowed exactly where a bicycle's allowed. And then there's, you have all kind of accessories. I see there's one back here that's got like the grocery cart. So yeah. you really, it's kind of, the whole accessory market's going to grow up kind of like a bicycle yeah, market. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you, you can actually use this as a tool to go into the grocery store, do your shopping, put your groceries in the basket, pay for it at the checkout, 
and, uh, and open it up and away you go. It's, I mean, that, that's a lot of fun. Excellent. So we also have another real cool feature about the new product, okay. too, which is the Sport. So the, the battery is in the front, and it pulls out, and I can show you this right here. So this battery is the thing that actually... You so know, that's what you have to charge. The, the, the vehicle uses this to power itself. Right. But not only that is this battery is a mobile power source. So what we've done is we've incorporated... <laughs> USBs on there. We've got 2.0 quick charge USBs. We have two on this side. We have two on this side. We have, for the first time ever, a USB Type-C port, which means that you can charge your new laptop on it. Right, right. We also have an adapter that plugs into the front of this that converts it to 110 AC, and we have two regular uh, plugs in the front, so you can basically charge anything. So you can charge seven devices at the same time on this thing, and when you turn it on, it shows you what your percentage value is on the front here with this little LCD. And then you can also charge this for the ride home, right? So you just exactly. pull that, you leave this in the dirty, wet space, yeah. take this out to yeah. the to the uh, desk, and you're good. you're going to take this in with you anyway. Right, right. You know, so that's the other thing. It's not going to get stolen because right. you don't have to leave it outside. Right. Very so, cool. All right, well, one more question, Grant. So you yeah. just came from CES. Yeah. And there's a lot of car stuff going on and mobility stuff at CES. I'm just curious if you could share your perspective how CES has now <laughs> grown into arguably one of the biggest auto shows and mobility shows out there. I mean, yeah. this was the rage. Oh, yeah, no, CES has become this. I mean, we, we've been there the last few years. Uh, you know, it's, it's fun for me. I'm a car guy. I love, I'm all about cars. And, in fact, one thing that's really cool about this is it becomes a very impactful multimodal transportation device. So you just fold this thing up and you put it in the trunk of your car. Now all of a sudden you have you have a range extender essentially. Right. right. So right. you go to some big sporting event or whatever, and you have to park, you know, two miles away from where you want to go. Or just, pay fifty bucks, right, well, to yeah, park close. Or exactly, right. <laughs> so you just pull this thing out, and so that was what was fun at CES because the car companies were coming up to us going. Hey, let's talk. You know, you right. got some interesting things going on. Right, there, right. And, and, and I think it's something we need to be thinking about. Put like a little embeddable insert in the trunk and so just click it right in. That's huh? right. That's All exactly right, Grant. Right. Well, hey, congratulations. Thank like you. I said, there's more of these buzzing around than anything that we've seen. Right. So uh, great job. Thank you so much. Appreciate the time. He's right. Grant. I'm Jeff. Yeah. You're watching theCUBE from the North American International Audio Show. Thanks for watching.